good morning children so let's continue with the chapter in the last chapter i have taught you about the celebration of bihu so when did bihu celebrated bihu is celebrated after the rice crop is harvested and where is it celebrated this is celebrated in assam okay so in during the celebration they make bhela ghar just like this okay and uh, this bhela ghar is made up of bamboo so they use bamboo and then they cover it with the grass so this is made up of bamboo and grass okay during this there is lot of functions are there in the celebration so the first day is called the uruka in the uruka they celebrate and they eat together they prepare the feast all right everyone contribute money to buy the vegetable fish okay and rice that is bora rice okay so how the bora rice is being prepared this recipe is also given that also we have already seen so mag bihu is celebrated on 14th and 15th of january okay it is the 10th month of the asmis calendar and the first day is called uruka okay so children bora rice is a common variety of rice and that rice is sticky rice now they also prepared a dish called pitha some people they love eating roasting sweet potatoes um, some of them uh, like to serve the food okay and everyone will be served you know tea and pitha later on somebody said like tanvir said i'm waiting to eat chiva rice now chiva rice how it is prepared that the recipe is already been given so what do they do they light the fire okay then they boil the water in a big tau what is big tau tau means a big vessel okay so in a big tau they boil the water now after that what do they do in this vessel where they boil the water they go they, they keep the big kadhai on to that and in that kadhai they keep the soaked water and then cover it with the banana leaves after some time the chiva rice is cooked in the steam okay till here we saw now children will continue with the chapter so after that what do they do the bhela ghar was ready the four friends ran off to change their clothes so soon all the people in the village got together at one place the women were dressed in pat and muga mekhala chadar underline please pat and muga mekhala chadar now this is the traditional dress in assam and during the celebration they wear this dress sonmani and her friends ran to bhela ghar the drums started to play and everyone started to sing and dance everyone danced till they were tired they kept dancing okay then they all sat down then they all sat down on to the ground in rows and in rows and ready to eat the food was served on banana leaves everyone enjoyed the feast the night they stayed in that bhela ghar so that night they stayed in the bhela ghar so that bhela ghar which was made of bamboo and grass in that house they stayed for one night okay now mazani said sonmani we should go and sleep now 
we have to get up early tomorrow to light the mezi and bhelagar also so only for one day they stay in that bhelagar and the next day along with the mezi they burn they light it or they burn the house that bhelagar temporary house okay now you can see the picture where here where the children are wearing the you know the traditional path and muga mekhala chadar so that's how they celebrate with the friends okay now midday meal it is almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon the smell of food is cooking smell of food food cooking is coming from uh, coming from the veranda and our stomachs are rumbling we are so hungry we are not able to pay attention to the lessons in the class when your when your tummy is empty you don't feel like studying isn't it you keep watching you keep waiting for the bell you know break so here what happened children were they were very very happy and they can smell the cooking food of the smell the they could smell the food you know when it is cooking they can smell the food then they feel more hungry isn't it then suddenly ding 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 at last now the bell rang all the children ran out and went to wash their hands master mushai sent all the children to the hand pump at the corner of the courtyard anon though see that everyone washes their hands properly he called after washing hands we all stood in queue to take our food some had their own boxes others had plates then we all sat down in a circle with our food before we started to eat we sang together we play together we eat together for the good of everyone we will always be together so today there is bhat shukto again this is very important children bhat shukto means rice with vegetable and curry okay what is bhat shukto it is rice with vegetable and curry that was his food their food yesterday we had luchi and chola dal okay luchi means puri and chola dal outside outside didi moni's room a list of food item has been displayed it tells what we will get on different days of the week would it not be wonderful if on some days we got an extra treat maybe something sweet so there is another interesting thing about lunch time at school so here children everybody has their fixed fixed menu that every day they get different 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 food so for a week the uh, the food item means the menu is displayed but it, it they they are always happy to receive the sweet everybody loves sweet right so they were just thinking that it would be so good if they give some they get some extra sweet okay let's move ahead so there is another interesting story in the lunch time at school every day we change our places in the circle and sit next to a different child i really like this because i can meet new children and make new friends okay so they make a circle and every day it is made sure that you all everyone will sit with different 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 persons every day the food was not always very nice sometimes rice was of poor quality sometimes it was not properly cooked some parents did not like their children to eat such food didimoni explained to them 
it was everyone's duty to make sure that children got fresh hot properly cooked food also make sure that every child gets afternoon meal regularly the parents also decided to help new things are better we eat fresh hot and properly cooked food together okay so after that every parent decided to help and then the food quality was good okay the food was properly cooked it was hot so the younger children sometimes cannot finish all the food but my friends and i are sometimes still a little hungry even after we eat food because we are grown up nowadays many schools give food in the school during the day it was not always like this when my didi was in primary school primary school uh, children did not get afternoon meal in the school some children come to school in the morning without eating anything imagine having to study on an empty stomach in our you all children also come like this no in the school you also don't eat and come to school like this but you get a break right you get two breaks so before afternoon you get a break after two hours isn't it so i don't know whether between those two periods we have two three periods no before the break so in those three periods do you really able to are you really able to concentrate on the studies or you are only thinking about when the bell will ring and when will you get the break isn't it is it so Mm-hmm. Anyways, children. Then we have this midday meal. Every child's right. Many children in our country are not able to get even one full meal every day. Many of them go to school empty stomach and cannot study properly. Some years ago, the highest court in the language, highest court of our country, gave an important decision. all children up to the elementary school should be provided with hot cooked food and this is the right of the every child okay children so every child has the right to get the proper properly fresh hot cooked food okay so this is the right of every child and who has given this uh, authority who has given this uh, um, authority to uh, people to the small children it is the highest court they have ordered to the country okay that everyone every child has this right to have freshly cooked properly cooked hot meal midday meal okay so here children we are done we are done with the chapter okay so um i'll i'll be sending you the question answers so once you are done with the video please start writing the question answers